FRC brought to Dublin the possibility of linking in with other flood-related issues in other European cities. The Flood Resilient City project has eight partner cities. Dublin, Bradford, Leuven, Brussels, Nijmegen, Mainz, Paris and Orléans. The project is supported by the University of Sheffield and the Paris University of Engineers. Together they exchange their knowledge about the measures taken to protect their cities against flooding. They look for ways to make citizens more aware of the risk of flooding in their city. Yeah, the biggest problem here at Nijmegen is the fact that the River Rhine is making a sharp bend and it's, uh, it's, it doesn't have a lot of room. There's a bottleneck in the river system and it increases the risk of a dike breach. So the first thing that we are going to do is to remove the dike. The dike which you see behind us is going to be removed by 350 meters inwards. And secondly, we're going to, going to dig a side channel which makes it able for the water to, uh, to flood um, uh, alongside the, the city here. Alors ce bâtiment est situé sur la commune de Saint-Denis-en-Val. C'est une commune qui est entièrement inondable. Alors ce bâtiment a été construit avec des prescriptions techniques particulières. Ce n'est pas un bâtiment complètement résilient, mais on s'en approche. Vous pouvez voir que le bâtiment est construit sur pilotis. Sur le site internet de la collectivité du Conseil Général, on a mis en ligne cette cartographie-là. Mais on reste quand même assez prudent, c'est-à-dire que les, les gens ne peuvent pas consulter les données point par point, pour ne pas, pour pas effrayer non plus. The problems here are more pluvial flooding, which in here has actually happened twice within 11 months. And this housing estate acts like a bowl. So what we did was we, we lowered the, uh, um, uh, the, the, the ground that we're now standing on, so that, to get the water to flow through uh, the, 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 the gardens of these houses rather than through the houses. And you can actually see a grill here which uh, we installed uh, a year and a half, two years ago, to allow the water to flow from this housing estate and into the golf course. Sometimes it's very simple. Perhaps just raise a curb 100 millimeters and you may save an entire underground car park, perhaps with 500 cars in it. That's the sort of simple example. Beim FEC-Projekt in Mainz Zollhafen geht es darum, an einem 160 Meter langen Teilstück äh, der Mole, der Keimmauer, die Spundwand zurückzubauen, die alte Spundwand und so die historische Keimmauer freizulegen. Und gleichzeitig schaffen wir ein idealtypisches Anschauungsobjekt für die Bürgerinnen und Bürger, die an der Stelle dann später gucken können und den Rhein direkt hautnah erleben können, weil Möglichkeiten geschaffen werden, eben direkt mit dem Wasser in Kontakt zu treten. The aim of the FRC project is to say, if we cannot protect cities from flooding by building infrastructure, what can we offer to victims? And that are the three other A's, avoidance, awareness, and three assistance, what can we do before, during, and after such flooding events. De laatste jaren is de waterkwaliteit van de, van de dijlen ook heel sterk verbeterd. Van, van heel veel waterlopen in de omgeving is er heel veel werk gemaakt, heel veel energie gestoken en geld gestoken in het aanleggen van rioleringen en waterzuiver, het laten werken van de waterzuiveringsinstallatie. Via verschillende kleine en grotere projecten in de stad de dijlen zichtbaar te maken en parken net langs die dijlen te maken. Omdat ja, water een heel belangrijk element is van de leefbaarheid van de stad. One of the main reasons is because the beck has been culverted. People don't see it, it's not something they see every day. Um, a lot of people have responded to, to this exhibition in particular in saying, uncover the beck, let's, let's see it again. Um, and I think people are going to be less aware of, of flooding and flood risk if they're not aware of the water around them anyway. Oh, ici, nous sommes dans le quartier de la gare de Lyon. Pour la capitale, c'est un des quartiers les plus fragiles parce que s'il y avait des débordements, euh, cela toucherait en premier euh, la gare de Lyon. 
donc avec les transports. Et sous la gare de Lyon, il y a le réseau de métro et de le réseau express régional. Et donc c'est tous les transports qui seraient complètement perturbés euh, en cas de débordement et donc d'une crue de la Seine. The main advantage is that uh, in each country, each city, we have different situations, we have different answers to problems of flooding and living in cities prone to flooding, and that we can learn from each other. Mm -hmm.